28,000 cattle being slaughtered last year. If you then look at the first quarter of this year, if you look at the 13,500 and then extrapolate that, we are looking at up to 40,000 cattle being slaughtered this year. And then we had that disgraceful decision yesterday that I think completely demonstrated a failure to take the responsibility for this decision. We are really, it's really important now that we don't accept this decision. I've announced that the NFU will be following legal action. We will be withdrawing from cost and responsibility sharing discussions with the government. We have got to move forward. We will go and speak to the Commission about further actions and what pressure they can bring to bear on the government. Yeah, I'm John Round, I'm farming in Gloucestershire. We run 320 milking cows together with 250 followers. We're one of the highest yielding herds in the country. We've got a very well established pedigree herd of Holstein Frisians. Well, I'm here today because uh, we, we're affected by TB at the moment under restriction. The problem with it is we, we test the cows, we remove infected animals. However, the disease reservoir stays in the countryside. And until we remove the actual reservoir disease, we'll never get on top of the problem. It's, it's, it's like having a hole in a bucket, just keep bunging up the hole without getting a new bucket. It's until the reservoir is gone, we're just going to struggle to contain the disease. Uh, name is Derek Dennis. I live at Ivy Bridge and my herd is Holsteins. It's a pedigree herd. It's suffered badly from TB in the past. Cattle to cattle transmission in our farm is totally non-existent. It's wildlife badgers to cattle and uh, I, I just think that the Badger Trust are not doing the general public a service by telling them it's cattle to cattle transmission. We want to fight, we want to frustrate, and we want to challenge any other further passing of cost on the farming industry as a result of us withdrawing from discussions on cost and responsibility sharing. We must use all the help our friends in Parliament in the House of Lords, as I said, to fight, to frustrate, and to challenge any further costs being passed onto the farming industry. Possible, we will leave no stone unturned in changing this decision. We do have resources, and we will start a legal challenge to reverse this decision as soon as it is possible.